Hello everybody, my name is Brian Funk and I'd like to thank you for checking out some of my sounds in ADM Plunk. This is a collection of over 100 sounds that are sort of guitar, plucked instrument, even organs and clav type sounds uh, that I've created over the, almost the last 10 years, 8 or 9 years now. Um, you've got everything that shows right up when you install it in your pack section of your Ableton Live browser. So they're really easy to find in these folders and they also show up inside the sounds portion of your library when you go under guitar and plucked and you'll see some of these in there. We'll go back over here so we can focus on the pack and we can see our lesson file that shows the pack and the different places that the sounds were sourced from. You can learn more about those just by clicking through here. Learn a little bit about how this collection was made. Bring it all the way back to the beginning and we'll listen to some of the sounds. We'll go over some of the guitar and plucked sounds. So let's check out the first one here, After Strum Spiral. I made these spiral sounds using a looper and I just layered really thick samples and then I put those samples inside Live Sampler. So you can hear some of the back and forth movements, some of the samples go in reverse. This was based off a guitar note, or multiple guitar notes, really. We've got the cheap toy guitar from one of those little toy keyboards from back in the day. But we can add some of our live effects to this to give it a little more life. Little chorus. So we can even filter out the sounds. Maybe not quite that much. And what's nice about each one of these sounds is you can do that. You can take what we've got and then turn it into something new. We've got a nice classical guitar instrument right here. And this one has a lot of control, such as the dynamics, the tone. You can even add in finger noise. So if you notice, we occasionally get some finger noise. I'm gonna let you hear that because it really makes this sound quite good, I think. So if I just solo the finger noise part. And this happens after you lift your finger off the keys. Cool effect, but it makes this sound a little more interesting and uh, authentic. That's quite a lot of finger noise. That's the classical guitar. We've got the power chords guitar. So what I'm doing is just playing one key and getting these power chords and we can cut the bass and the treble transients. That's a clean one. We've also got distorted power chords. Okay, we got the Dream Pluck. Very interesting sound moving around inside the headphones. Let's check out uh, Haze Slap. It's like a slap bass. Cool sound, very 80s. Got the Juno Chippy Pluck. So these are short sounds with like generally like fast attacks. We've got a ukulele instrument here playing chords on the ukulele. And we've got a more traditional ukulele. Play it a little bit higher. Those ukulele instruments was even made into a pad. We've got an electric bass. And we'll go into our vintage folder and see what else we got here. Let's check out the Dracula organ. That sounds like fun. Should probably play this in a minor key.
since it is Dracula, so very uh, haunted house sound there. We also have a haunted organ. A little different than Dracula. We've got a cassette tape prophet. This was the Prophet 6 recorded to cassette tapes and then sampled back into live. There's a few of those in here. We've got some DX7 sounds, such as a smooth organ. And notice again, we've got control over all of these macros. We've got the chorus. Some movement on the chorus. And this one you can even get in further and really get to town here. Um, let me do just a couple more. Peaceful synths, 50. So I wanted to make some synths that were just peaceful sounding. So many synths are just so aggressive these days, and that's where peaceful synths came out of. And what you can do is, these are sounds that are layered together. There's two different layers, and you can change the quality of each layer. And then we can change the other layer. And now this is a totally different sound than what we started with. But what's really nice about these is you hold them down, they evolve and they change. They don't really stay super consistent. And that's where the character comes in. So here, like some interesting things are starting to happen to the sound now. I, I love these peaceful synths. They are some of my favorite sounds I've made. And maybe we'll finish it off with the Spirit's Rising Prophet. So if you are looking for pluck sounds, I've got you covered with plunk. Over a hundred of these. There's organs, there's guitars, there's kind of miscellaneous, synthy, weird stuff. But all different sounds that work in all different styles of music. So thanks a lot for taking the time to check this out and enjoy.